welcome, welcome, welcome again, once again, to Papa Stash Pop. So, this is a very heavily requested song. Click the link down below in the description part if you have a song request of your own. Again, right now, and, it, and you can request anything you want, but we're doing this thing where we're requesting music from like 1990 to like 2005, because there's so many awesome songs in that time period that I thought, you know, we'd, we'd go back. I spent a lot of time doing current Billboard pop hits, but there's so much good music from back yonder. So we're focusing on that time period, but you can request whatever you want. Really simple song. What we're gonna do here is it's heavily electric guitar. We're gonna make it acoustic. We're gonna show you the chords, and then we're gonna show you how, if you're, you know, just by yourself playing an acoustic, how to keep the whole song rolling, because there's a lot of space in between guitar parts in this particular song. So let's zoom in for a closer look and learn the tune. All right, so we're gonna do something that was really popular back in the day, right? So what it is, is doing bar chords, but leaving the B and E strings open, you know, if you're on the sixth string down, and leaving the E string open if you're on the A string down. And it gets these really cool suspended kind of lots and lots of bands did it Alice in Chains Pumpkins you know there's just tons of bands from this era even in the 80s you know bands would do this a lot and it just gives this really big sound especially if it's a one guitar player band so think B minor chord but just leave the high E open A major chord but we're gonna leave the B and E open and then G major chord doing the same thing now, like I said in the beginning, we're going to keep the rhythm going a little bit more, kind of in line with what the drums are doing, just in case we're playing this song acoustic, right? If not, you know, the guitar... Right? Is more kind of that oriented, that style, right? It's just really... Bars. And it can do that because there's keyboards and really driving bass and drum line going. So it's filling a lot of space, which allows the guitar to have this really cool, big, open, distorted, you know, chorusy kind of a sound. So we don't have that, obviously, if we got an acoustic. So we can follow kind of along the lines of what the drums are doing, and it's... Right, so. Okay, so that would be the intro of the song, let's say. Now what I'm doing, Right, so on the B minor and the A chord, I'm doing one of those strum patterns. When I get to the G, I'm doing it twice, okay? So it's going good so far, so great, or so far, so good, or whatever. We can have it our own way. So far, so great, because it's awesome. All right, now, during the verse, very sparse guitar going on, right? So what we're gonna do, instead of keeping it sparse and people are like, okay, dude, did you forget some parts? Or what's going on if you're playing this by yourself, assuming, right? So, back to that drum thing. We don't wanna lose sight of that cool open string sound, but we also wanna keep the song going, so. spending a lot of time on the bass part of the chord. And then 
and every once in a while doing a nice downstroke to let you hear that big open sounding chord, right? So we got. You can even palm mute. So what we've done is we went from D to E and then down to a full rock and roll G, right? So I'm going down, 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 up, up, down, down. And then you can add a down up at the end so we can go down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up. <laughs> Was that right? I have no idea. Let's Slow that down, see if I can do that again. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. There it is. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Same thing on the G. But remember the G's twice, just like in the other part of the song. Now, if that's a giant reach for you to get quickly back to that G chord. You can do it here. Now I'm not making that E chord specifically major or minor, so I'm just flattening out my finger right here and doing kind of the rock E to allow it to where it doesn't have that real definite major or minor sound. Because it doesn't really in this particular song either. the solo is too. I think it just goes to 7, 10, so we're going G, B, I think it goes back and forth three times. And then we're going to go to the 7th fret. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up a half step. So usually bends oftentimes are whole steps. I mean obviously not all the time, but more often than not, but this is a half step, so we're just going up one fret tone. And then pulling off down to the fifth fret. And then we're going to do the same thing on the sixth fret of the G. And then back into. Yes, way to go, awesome job, awesome job. See, if, if a song's really spatial and not a lot of guitar and only in certain parts, you can, you know, we can meld it and bend it and make it our own way. So if we got a solo gig somewhere, we can totally pull off the song. Don't forget the link down below. We can request whatever you want, but it would be awesome if you guys wouldn't mind 
90 to 2005 right now because there's so many good songs. And also, don't forget, giant, giant, fun-loving, guitar-playing world community where we got friends everywhere where we drop songs on each other. That is the goal here at Papa Stash Pop. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the support. And even though I might not get a chance to respond to all of you, I do read all the comments and I respond when I can. So I can't thank you guys enough. You're amazing. We'll catch you next time.